you adapt in the world. This is Ivan Amara. I've been making a video earlier today. Yeah, I'm off today. I just woke up at 1 o'clock. So I'm happy I didn't wake up at like 3 or 4 o'clock because I don't like waking up at 3 or 4 o'clock because more than half the day was gone, right? 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock is fine because you still have about half a day to chill. So I'll make a quick 30 minute video. And after this, I'm going to go to uh, the store and get my beer. I got my government check. So I'm going to go to the store, get my beer and smokes. I'll enjoy the show with you guys. And afterwards, I'm going to watch some Rad Brad. The Assassin's Creed Mirage game is actually really good. I like it a lot. I like it more than uh, Von Halla. The Von Halla game. Is it better than the Odyssey? The Odyssey game was really good. The Spartan one, that was really good. That remains to be seen. We'll see how good the game is, obviously. Today is my cheat day, so I'm going to order food. What do you get the Ivan? I might just get McDonald's today. I might get McDonald's for myself. For the Ivan, yeah. Pizza's getting annoying. I've been ordering pizza for the past like month. So I want to get McDonald's. I wish they had a Burger King one is here. They don't have any any of that here, man. They have AMWs, but AMWs is far away. So I can't like you have, if I had a car, but AMWs I don't I, I don't like that much. I like Wendy's and Burger King a lot. Those are really good. something guys eating breakfast Yeah, so I'm happy I'm off today, but it's, I kind of wanted to work there because I need the money, though. Because I worked five shifts last week and four days this week, I'm going to get, like, an Android check. I won't make my $900. My check will be $800-something. Maybe $790, $780. $800-something plus it should be. Yeah. How much money do you want to make? I want to at least make my $800. 700 is pretty good. 780 is pretty good. But I want to make at least my, my, my 800 plus dollars, obviously. And that's why I can't wait to be uh, to be king, man. Because I no longer have to do dirty work for shitty money, you know what I'm saying? I no longer have to worry about everyone bossing me around. Like they do with Whole 40. Because a lot of the people who Whole 40, man, I mean, really, man, they're lazy, man. They're lazy people, man. I sla I'm guilty too. So all you Coco Fruity guys who think I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. Look, man, I'm guilty too. I slack off sometimes too, okay? We all slack off. It's human nature to slack off. But, like, it's just crazy how, like, they know I do the most work in their restaurant, and they still make me do their dirty work when you can do it yourself because you're just lazy. So, Sarah. Like, that one woman waitress, she always asks me, to empty the garbage for I'm like, look, man, you can empty it yourself. Stop being lazy. All you have to do is just push the garbage. You don't even have to. I, I don't carry the the, the 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 garbage for the waiters, right? Where they call, where they put the coffee and all that stuff. I don't carry it to the door. I just drag it and I just lift it up and I put it outside. But you can easily do that. Next time, I'm gonna tell them, hey, look, man. I can show you a trick. If the garbage bag is too heavy, just drag it all the way to the door. 
and then just lift it up and put it outside. You, that you can do if you can't lift it. Stop making me do your dirty work when I'm fucking tired and, 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 and what? I'm doing. I'm washing all these fucking dishes. All the seasons, Sarah. Yeah. And the other guy who works really hard. He's a hard worker, obviously. He's a bit lazy, too. He always makes me grab the eggs, makes me grab the uh, the, the fruits and all the stuff, and, then, and, and the bacon and the sausages. I'm like, look, man. On a weekend, I can understand me grabbing the stuff because it's really busy. You need to serve the customers. But on a weekday when it's not busy, man, why are you calling me to grab the eggs when you take when you grab it at yourself? Oh, because I'm lazy. I mean, so, yeah, it's annoying. I know the feeling. It's annoying going to the fridge and grabbing the eggs and opening the box and bringing it. It's fucking annoying. He doesn't want to do that. He's lazy. Look, I don't, I don't feel like constantly going to the fridge and grabbing the fucking eggs. I want to make Ivan do it. He's lazy. Even the boss, too. On a weekday when it's not busy. Ivan, can you grab me the, the fruits and, and, and eggs? I was like, why can't you guys grab it yourself, man? At Cora's, the line guys grab the food themselves. Why can't you? At Beer Market, the line guys grab the food themselves. You have time to grab the food. You're just lazy people, obviously. You're You're lazy. They take advantage of you, obviously. Some Sarah. All right, can you empty the oil? I'm like, look, man, do it yourself, man. Stop making me do your dirty work. Some Sarah. Yeah. Yesterday, you can tell the guy knew I was annoyed. I was very annoyed, obviously. He said, All right, can you can you empty the oil? I'm like, look, man, you could have emptied the oil. Why are you making me do it, man? Because I'm lazy, Ivan. Right? I don't feel like carrying it outside. I'm lazy, Ivan. Right? Yeah, you're lazy. They don't want to do it, obviously. So they make the dishwasher do it. So I'm sorry. The boss, I can understand. He owns the restaurant, obviously. But even he's lazy, too. It's like, weekdays when it's not busy, he makes me grab the eggs. I'm like, look, man, you're right there. It's 20 seconds. Why are you making me grab the eggs? Because we have to show the customers. I'm like, guys, the customers can wait 25 seconds. It takes, like, 30 seconds to grab the eggs, open the box, and put it there. 25 seconds. It doesn't take long. You're saying that 25 seconds, what? A customer can't wait 25 seconds? Come on, guys. Don't play that game. You can get the box of eggs and fruit. You're just lazy. You don't want to do it, obviously, some time. You're already making me take out all the garbage and boxes. The least you can do is grab the eggs. Stop waiting for me to grab the eggs. Stop being lazy, some time. All the restaurants I worked at, the, the line guys grab, the, they grab their own food from the fridge, man. When it was busy, they would just run to the fridge and grab the food. They have time. They're just lazy. They don't want to do it, obviously. They're lazy. They don't want to do it. So sorry. That's why I want some king. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take shit from anyone anymore. I'm not going to let anyone yell at me anymore. I'm not going to take shit from anyone. I'm not going to let anybody boss me around. Because now I'm the king. I'm the boss. I'm the boss, man. So my scotch is company with bleach, right? I'm the boss, yeah. Now I'm the boss. I'm sorry. Simon, so, mean, you won't take crap from anybody? No. I'll no longer take crap from anybody. I'll no longer take crap from anybody. Once I'm king. I'm no longer going to take crap from anybody. There. I'm no longer going to take crap from anybody once I am king. On my own or with my wife, whatever it is. Yeah. There's a part of me that believes I might I might freak the freak out and I might, uh, what? Like BG says in her song, right? I, I might run off. I won't even say it. I'm like, fuck this. I'm running off. You know what I'm saying? I'll be single and live my life. I'm saying. I told you if I do that, Victoria Justice will, will, will never stop crying to me at night. She'll cry to me every day forever. She's that crazy, obviously. 
Think about it. Victoria Justice will cry every night to me forever if I don't save her. Every day forever she'll cry because that's how crazy she is. She's a crazy woman, man. Like, yeah. Why is she crying in her eye? Because she's desperate. She loves me, even though it's a weird form of love. She cheats on me every week. She loves me. She what? She wants to see the light. She doesn't like seeing hell. She wants my blinks, obviously. She has curgles. Sarah? Toy Justice has curgles like me, too. She wants to be an A-list actor. Big budget movie star. She wants, she wants, I want to be in that major trilogy with Ivan and kick ass. I want to be in that Great Escape movie with Keanu Reeves all over Ivan. I want to be in Ivan Zayn's movie. I want to be saved. I don't want to be left behind. I want to live a life with them. Travel the world, build the, the dream of the dream of condo, rooftop condo. I want to fly on his on, on the jets, shoot parties in the yacht. And I want to travel the world, go to restaurants, clubs, events. Well, cruising. I want to live a life with them. Yeah. That's why Victoria Justice. She's crazy, obviously. I'm sorry. She's a crazy woman. Yeah. Those are the reasons why she cries. And she's desperate too. She knows she got duped. Hence why I'm her last hope to... to, to I'm, her, I'm, her, I'm her ticket out of Hollywood. So if Ivan doesn't save me, I'm fucked. I'm going to remain in the Hollywood industry forever. Yes, the gatekeepers are going to own you. And you're going to what? You're going to have your sabotage shitty career. And you're... You're gonna be trash and you're gonna see hell forever, obviously. Yeah. She wants out of Hollywood too, obviously, right? Hollywood's a wicked place. So there? Uh she just say, yes. We'll get back to the third minute video because I'm tired. And after this, I'm going to go to the store for my friend's folks. Obviously, oh, so don't hate me. Is that yeah. out? Talk about Zayas now. So Zayas, I'll make $1.2 billion, $50 million based off my novel that I wrote, the best novel ever written. The Last Hope for Zayas, published in three volumes. That'll be my first movie. And after that, I'll either do The Great Escape or The Matrix with Michael B. Jordan. We'll see what happens. Maybe The Matrix, we'll see what happens, obviously. $830 million towards the movie project. 
410 towards salaries, 10 million towards the unheard guards in documentary. Since that guy's always just saying yes. And then, uh, yeah, and I'll put money towards the game. I'm talking about the movie here. Here are Jackson Lucas in my top two cards. Peter all payment six hundred million Canadian base, which is a seven forty five million New Zealand deal. This is a double game for the rings. And then Mel Gibson I'll pay him is two ninety million Canadian deal, which is like a two hundred, like ten million American deal. Because Mel Gibson lives in America, that's what I'm saying. That's my deal for those two directors. The question is who's better for the job? Mel or Peter, I don't know. That remains to be seen. You're gonna have to test their creativity if you fly them into the office and you interview them, that's what I'm saying. Somebody tells you I might just Mel, but I might just pick it and see what happens. Mel might be the better man for the job. Don't hate Peter. That's all. Who's there? So Peter gets a piece of the merch and, and, and royalties, yes. He gets four twenty five million dollars of the box office royalties. And my Peter, what about Dollar that I'm like, Peter, 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 I'm not gonna give you an A for the deal. Stop being greedy man. Greedy pig. No. You're not worth that. He gets your four twenty five million dollars. I you're greedy too, man. You're gonna make all that money, you're giving me peanuts. I'm like, yeah, the peanuts I'm giving you is money you don't even make all this is all we make over Stop being greedy. If you think about amount, think about the amount of money you're gonna make, you're gonna feel like shit because we're making more than you. But there's a reason why I'm making more than you because we're God and you were bigger than you. So I'm, but I'm so generous enough to give you a, ni a nice, a, a big chunk of the, of the pie. For rich four twenty five million dollars is a lot of money for you. The records in Hollywood would dream of this contract. They don't make this in Hollywood. Because Peter wants a billion dollar deal. He's greedy. He wants that six hundred million in his bank. Peter, you're gonna make like four hundred million dollars in your bank after taxes for five years of work. That's not enough for you, Ivan. I want like I want more, man. I want like six hundred dollars in my bank. I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not gonna pay you that. You greedy fucking pig. And you get ninety million dollars of the merch, which is like one hundred plus million, whatever, in New Zealand money for the merch. And you get your eighty-five million base, which is like a hundred plus million dollars in your for your base too. So I'm saying, huh? you signed like a six hundred million dollar deal. It's a massive contract. <laughs> Four twenty five million in uh, in Canadian money is like five hundred million dollars about there in New Zealand money around there. And then ninety million dollars is one hundred like ten million New Zealand money. And eighty five million dollars is also one hundred plus million dollars. So Peter's making a hundred million dollars New Zealand money for his base for five years of for four years. Obviously, for five years of work, and he's making uh, uh, what a hundred plus million dollars for the merch, and he's making five hundred some million dollars for the world for the box office. About there, about about five hundred million bucks for the box office. New Zealand money. He signed a six hundred million dollars Canadian Canadian deal, man, which is seven forty five. Sorry, no. Peter's making like yeah, five hundred maybe. I don't know, forty million. New Zealand money for the, the four twenty five million dollars in rolls of Canadian money. Yeah. He's making his hundred plus million dollars around there. 120, 130, 140. 90 million dollars in Canadian money is like 140, 150 million years old money. And then 85 million dollars is like 110. Yeah, man. Peter signed a massive deal. <laughs> He's just greedy, obviously. I'm like, right, that's more enough money. I don't even make his own. Age, well, right, that's a good deal for Peter. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even make his own. This is all we made for the rings. Yeah, right, what about the game? Are you, you going to get Peter a piece of that? I'm like, no. I'm not giving Peter a piece of the game. I could if I want to. But, like, you don't want to have Peter rip you off or buy you signs an 800 plus million dollar deal, man. Some Sarah. Because if you give him, like, $50 million of the game, Peter now signed an 800 million dollar deal, and now he's kind of duping you. you, you, you you're, you're now overpaying him or buy he's ripping you off. So don't hate Peter. So, Sarah. Peter's not worth an 800 million dollar deal for my movie. Realistically speaking, Peter's only worth maybe $250 million or uh, three hundred million dollars of my role. He's really, really speaking around there. He's not even worth four hundred million dollars of my role. But I'm nice to give him that money because I'm generous. Because Peter's greedy, he's, he wants more. He wants double. I what about double that? But I want like eight fifty million dollars of role. I'm like Peter. No, I'm not gonna pay you that. 
greedy fucking pig. I'm not going to pay this, sir. Same goes for Mel. I'm not going to pay him that. If Mel's greedy, he wants more. I'm like, Mel, I'm not paying you more, man. 200 Mel is enough. But Mel's not as greedy as Peter because Peter's bigger than Mel. And Peter's used to taking all the cheddar for himself for his movies. He did it for The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, he got 10% of the profits for the three movies. He got a piece of the DVD sales, the game, and the merch. And that's what made him just $250 million. But New Line owed him money, and he took New Line to court. He sued them. And I don't think he got his money back. Their answer was, yeah, we paid Peter enough money. That's enough. I'm like, that's not the point, man. What did he negotiate? If he negotiated for, for a certain deal and you owe him money, he's entitled to that money regardless of how much money he made. Money has nothing to do with it. The, the new, So Peter obviously did, did not have a good relationship with Bob Shane and Michael Lind. They don't, Peter does, obviously doesn't like New Line, obviously. They don't, they, they, Peter, doesn't, Peter doesn't like them because they rip them off. Don't fucking rip. I'm talking to you, Hollywood execs. Don't rip your fucking actors and directors off. I told you, man. You gotta be careful about, about some execs that can rip actors off. Yeah. Don't rip your actors off. You If they sign a contract, you owe them that. If you, if you owe them money, that's, that's what you pay them. And don't rip Peter off. I'll never rip Peter off. Peter doesn't have to worry about me ripping him off. You will get your... Hence why the flat deal's better. Because you know you, how much money you're making. Whereas percentage deal, executives can rip you off with that, right? Because you don't know exactly how much money you're going to make. The only thing you can do is calculate how much money the, the movie made. And that's how you calculate how much money you're owed. Whereas a flat deal, you know you're guaranteed going to make that money. Peter doesn't have to worry about me ripping him off. <laughs> He doesn't get 425 million, he knows I ripped him off. He gets 424, 420, I ripped him off. So I'm saying, if I pay him 80 million dollars, I ripped him off. I owe him 85. So I'm saying how easy it is when you get a flat deal. Yeah, I was just saying, yes, that's why I'm doing a flat deal. And I know, I, 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 that way I know he doesn't rip me off. Peter, I'm saying. Peter said, yeah, Ivan, I like the flat amount better because I know I'm guaranteed going to make this money. Yeah, it's better, Peter. Yeah, Ivan, I don't have to worry about, like, yeah. Uh, I don't have to wonder if you rip me off or not. But Sans Joe, you can you can anticipate and wonder if they rip you off. Yes. Whereas a flat deal, you 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 will know if I ripped you off if you don't get the amount that I that that, that I said that that you signed. The agent's like, yeah, Ivan, four twenty five million dollars is pretty much like you might as well do that instead of doing percentage. Yeah, you might as well give them a flat amount instead of getting a percentage deal. It's better that way. You get four twenty five million dollars of the box office royalties. Because Peter's greedy, why? What about double that? What about eight fifty dollars? Like Peter, no, I'm not gonna pay that. You fucking greedy pig. So, let's say I choose Peter for Mel. I don't hate Mel. I'm saying I'll have his wife Fran, Guillermo Toro, and Barry Osborne, and perhaps Philip Boynes. They're gonna come on board as my assistant producers, and they're gonna help my team with the calls. And Peter has to help me co-write the three volumes of Xanas every morning from nine to twelve. So I'm saying Fran can help us out too. Guillermo Toro can help us out with the script. Obviously. And Barry Osmond has to help out the other guys with the this is called Mike. Two Joe's will help me out too. So we have a good like I don't know, five, six co writers for Xanus. But um but though they don't have to help us out every day, they only help us out a couple times a week. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Fran and, and get them all tour and then my two shows and Philip Boynes if I hire him. I look man, you guys only help us out a couple times a week. Uh, then after the the rest of the week you gotta help the others with the business calls. And what you do is the day, the days, the days that those guys don't help me, Peter, out. When I print out a copy of the script, you give them a copy of the script to go over. That way, they're caught up with the script. And they know what the script. They know. They know what we've written so far. They can help us out when they help us out the following weeks. I'm sorry, I know what I'm doing. Sorry. So how's it gonna work, Ivan? Okay, nine to twelve. Um, is 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 is. Peter and them can do their workout and they eat their... I'll probably have a buffet breakfast for them in the restaurant in, in, in the hotel every morning. If, I'm going to tell my team, find a luxury hotel that has buffet breakfast for the Peter and all that. That way they can eat their breakfast in the hotel every morning. They can do their workout, go swimming, whatever it is. And after that, the limo driver will take them to my office at 9 and, they, and Peter has to help me quote the script right away. The three volumes of Zanus. We work on it for three hours every day. That's good enough. <laughs> Three hours, you can write a good two to four or five, two to three to four pages are every day you can write in three hours. So to take the stress off Peter, don't do a thing when you write the script all day. Don't do that. That 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 will stress Peter out. It will stress, it'll just stress you and Peter out. It's important. We need to do the concert arts too. Hence why to take the stress off you and Peter and all them, work on it for a couple hours every day, every morning. From 
9th to 12th. And we get two 50 minute breaks. And then 12 to 1, everyone eats their nice lunch. Everyone eats their nice lunch, obviously. From, I want from 12 to 1, obviously. Everyone eats their nice lunch. I'll go out video with my seven team. We, we go out, we eat, and then Peter and all them will, uh, will, will, will be taking the buffet restaurant to eat their food, obviously. Now, at 1 o'clock, everyone has to come back. And then what? 1 o'clock, everyone has to come back. Obviously. And then we do concerts. Monday to Thursday, we do the concerts. The most interesting thing, right? The most interesting thing, the most, the most interesting thing in pre-production will be, um, in terms of work, will be, will be, will be the, uh, the concerts. That's the most fun. And making the business calls for the cameras and visual effects. That's probably the most fun, obviously. Making a call for the visual effects and cameras, that'll be fun. Because I, I'm having a blast working for your company because of the doc he's showing us. Yeah. We do the concerts every afternoon in the other building. Because I'm going to put money into a, bi uh, the, a visual effects building. I'm going to have them build a concert room in there. This is a big room. Yeah, it's a pretty big room that can fit maybe 15 people. It's a big room. And John Howe and all of them are going to work there. They're, they're, you, you have to buy a bunch of paper, pe pencils, all that stuff. And they have to do sketches for the movie. How many sketches I've, I don't know, like a thousand, fifteen hundred sketches, something crazy. That's why I pay them, uh, John Howe and all of them, and I'll lean on them, two thousand dollars, they work hard for you. Zara. We have to draw the sketches for the characters, the world building, the lands, the costumes, the weapons. What do the weapons look like? What kind of weapons do the wolves have? In the books, I say the, the wolves have swords, axes, and spikes. Ivan, you want them to have spikes? Yeah, spikes. You know those big, those, those, those spikes that they have? Those, those spikes that they have? No, Sauron? Yeah, that's like a spike, right? The thing Sauron had, that's like a spike, pretty much. I call them spikes. They're spikes, right? Yeah. They have spikes, swords, and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and. But the, the wolves do not have bow and arrows. They just have, uh... In the movie, you could add bow and arrows if you want to make more interesting, obviously. Me, Peter, VJ... Get yeah, Mo Toro, Fran. Uh, we can have Philip Boynes if, if I hire her. Um, my two sort of and George Lucas. We do that's enough. We do the concerts. There's no point of having like twenty people in the room. No, a good ten people is enough for the concerts. We sit in that room. We 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 we, 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 we John Howard on them, and they show us all the pictures, and we see we tell them be me, Peter, and all them tell what pictures we like, what we don't like. Era, Teth, the demonic characters, and you're, you're gonna see how horrific the demonic characters are gonna look. John Howe and all of them are going to draw the characters. I'm going to tell Bookman, I want Eric to be a hybrid of Pennywise and Clown on this demonic pitch, video picture here. Are you showing the pictures? I want Ephesus to be a hybrid of the Del being Annabelle and, and that boss everyone the rings. Except I want them three times scarier, guys. Make them look three times scarier. Three times scarier, yeah, demons, literal demons and devils. Peter's a like, guy, yeah, I mean, I want them little demons and devils so that we, we create a better story. Yes, Peter. So, Sarah. We discussed. And that's why me and VJ and Peter are going to have a blast, man. Because the doc who's filming us. You know what I'm saying? Peter's, Peter got paid his 10 million bonus. He's, he's, he's going to work hard for now. As for Lord of the Rings, he made 10 million for, for, for the whole, like, five years of work. He made his 10 million bucks, Peter. He still worked hard. I'm paying him only 10 million for pre-production. For three years of work. That's a good paycheck. That's like 13, 14 million New Zealand money. Peter's making, like, 7 million dollars as back after taxes. But work hard for me for pre-production. Right, that's a good paycheck for pre-production, man. But for Hollywood, I don't even make this. Yeah. A ten million dollar check, which is like, I don't know, fourteen million years old money, fifteen million bucks years old money, is 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 a, is a nice check for, for 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 Peter. Ten million Canadian money is like I don't know, like fourteen, fifteen million years old money. So Peter making fourteen million, fifteen million bucks years old money for three years of work is a good paycheck for him. So work hard. We got his millions in his bank. Is it not nah, seven, eight million in his bank after taxes? Seven point five million in his bank after taxes. Work hard, obviously. So Sarah. How long will it take you to concert arts? It'll take probably a couple months, maybe two, three months to the con. Two months, maybe. After two months, maybe three months, we should be done the concert arts. We should be done. Now, once the concert arts are now done, you can do a a, a, a goodbye party with John Howe and all of them if you want. Party up with them and send them home, and you send them back to Switzerland the second year. 
And then now the team can now start making the calls for the sets. Obviously, you can make the calls for the fabric, for the clothing, for the costume designers, the, the, the calls for the, the, the machines for the mask, the armor and weapons, because now we have a foundation. All the concepts are now done. Whereas the cameras and visual effects, me, Vijay, and Peter can make the calls for that right away. You don't need console arts for that, Sarah. Now, once we know how much crewmen to sign in, we can now call Virgin Echo Hotel and we can make, make, sign that deal, that Temple Woman Art massive deal for the red carpet event at the, the luxury hotel and the, and the two day party. So, Sarah, put your ass out with all that because my second producer. And then Fridays afternoon, me, VJ, and Peter, we don't work on this, we don't do console arts, we have to make business calls. So once a week, me, Vijay, and Peter do the business calls. Because we don't have to do, make much business calls. Whereas four days a week, we do consorts. Consorts is very important. We have to get that done as quick as possible. Sinsire? We have to get that done as soon as possible. That's why it's very, very important. That what? I can, I, can, I can talk. I always do this. I can make a part two, guys. Because I'm excited for Zane Samsara. We have to do that, obviously, Samsara. Yeah. I thought he's alright. I'm excited for this movie, man. Like, I can't wait for this movie. Like, you in the movie as Takis, man. It's going to be sick. Yeah, with those demons, man. And your white VJ. I don't know if we don't hate Your white VJ in the movie, too, is your lover. Yeah, man. You know, picture something like Arwen for VJ. He's in love with me, you know what I'm saying? Well, Lithia is Takis' love to be, like, like, um, Lithia is Takis' love to be in the, in the movie, in the book when you read it. That's a spoiler. I spoiled a bit of the book for you. Lithia is Takis' love to be, since I read the book when you read it. Sir? Come on, Albert. 